So continuing with lesson 3 where we learn word processing using Microsoft Word we now move on to creating a business card using Microsoft Word okay so over here an image has been given to you okay and you are required to create this business card using Microsoft using Microsoft Word yeah so it's a very simple business card and let me just show you a few generally how business cards do look so I just got two samples over here so business card is something Something like this and it's normally used by a person working for a company to basically give the contact details of themselves okay so there is this person working for a company called uh, this is studio iconic or whatever and his name is or in question this is his designation and these are his contact details okay if you look at this image over here this is a person called Johnny Doe who's working for a company called Barry Corp his job is project manager and these are his contact details so when employees work for a company and when they go out to meet meet clients and all that they generally will be carrying a business card okay so basically it's a card which will have contact details of themselves okay so we'll be designing a very simple business card using in Microsoft Word so let me open Microsoft Word Let's type word over here open Word and the first thing is that you need to know is that right now we're having the size of a letter the paper we are having right now is if you come to layout and if you come to size we are right now dealing with a letter okay which is way too big so we come to more paper sizes and we define the size where we say we want the width to be so generally a business card uh, in width it's about 3.3 .3 inches and in height it's about 2.1 you could say okay and say okay so this is what your business card would be looking like okay so we can zoom into your business card over here and we do have a problem over here which is that our margins if you come into margins custom margins our margins alone are one inch each okay so our page height is only two uh, what do you call two inches in height 2.1 inches in height uh, and the top margin is one inch the bottom bottom margin is one inch which means we have only 0 0.1 inch of space remaining to type so we've got to decrease the size of our margin so let's make it around 0 0.3 and I'm going to type the same for the other 0 0.3 0 0.3 tab 0 0.3 okay so I reduce the size of the margins which means I have some more space over here to type content okay so windows left keep this on the right uh, so let's get started with this uh, so what we can do is we can use a blue color circle first insert and let's come to shapes Let's come to shapes sorry very shapes over here illustrations and come to shapes let's go for a shape like this something like this okay and uh, let's make it uh, no border no outline and the fill is going to be light blue okay and then we need the letter W coming over it so I'm going to come and insert a text box over it text box Draw text box, and I'm going to be drawing. The, oops, what happened? Text box, draw text box, and I'm going to be drawing the text box like this over it. And of course, I'm going to be telling my text box no outline and no fill. So the text box is there. You can't see it, but when you click, it automatically opens. I'm going to type it as W, and I'm going to center align it, Control E, and I'm going to make it bigger. Control shift greater than okay that's better I think let's make this slightly out and take this up over there and do not forget that this should become white in color let's click on here and say it has to become white and I think we can make it one bit bigger okay and do not forget that this has to rotate a bit this way we can make it one bit bigger as well again okay so let's make it size 80 yeah that looks better I think okay so we do have a kind of logo similar to what's over here it like that Okay, and then next what do we have is we have a line that's appearing, so insert shapes, where do we get shapes, uh, illustrations, shapes, so 
the simple line from all the way from here to here and let's make it black in color it's supposed to be black oh sorry black and then we have some text appearing insert text box draw text box so we do have over here at the top part we have something which goes as Jacob capital letters Jacob West and uh, let's make this a bit bigger shift enter creative director so I'm going to be selecting this and making it smaller control shift smaller 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 that's better and uh, that's supposed to be a kind of blue color okay and this text box I don't need it to be visible so shape outline no outline and then again another text box text text box draw text box over here I'm going to be drawing a text box which says uh, just make the font a bit smaller or oh, size 12 already it's 11 already so that's fine design west shift enter 4863 south hill road uh, let's make it a bit smaller control shift smaller then okay enter so it's shift enter shift enter send diego and I can say CA92712 and then I'm just gonna come here and say shape format shape outline no outline and control C control V okay just copy and paste will be easier make sure it's in the same alignment as the other text and let's type the telephone number over here 619342 dash three four three three shift enter jw at design west.com so let's move this a bit bigger so let's go a bit this way so let's zoom out and see how it looks so this is what it's somewhat going to look like some of similar to what's over here so once you're done with this uh, do not forget to save your document uh, you can come over to desktop type your name and you can save it as business card and uh, click on the save button then don't forget to go back into your classroom come back and uh, view assignment Add or create file. Select file from your device, and we have our business card over here. Open. Click on upload, and do not forget once a file has been uploaded, to click in the turn in button. That will automatically appear once this has come. Because uh, this particular button, do not forget to click it once you have uploaded your file.